and a quarter pounds and hopefully it doesn't shrink up too much want to provide a Good morning guys, we're going to do a little bit of uh, boneless short rib smoking today and uh, I'm just going to fire up the charcoal, got my uh, butane little uh, chef's torch and this is really good because uh, I can hold it down there for a good 30 seconds or so and get this flame started without uh, little wax additives or uh, you know tinder balls or anything like that so it keeps it a little bit cleaner. indirect uh, cooking today. I'm going to put a deflector plate in or maybe two and uh, get these guys smoking on the right hand side with my fire and my charcoal and my smoke wood on the left hand side. So as you can see just a few seconds uh, getting those coals uh, cherry red and I can do this in a couple spots relatively quickly to get this uh, fire going and then I'll just let it sit for a good uh, half hour or so to get up to a stabilized temperature I know I can hold so, a little bit of this a little bit of that go back and forth and that's pretty much all I need to do sometimes I'll do three places um, but typically that does it pretty well. Get you all know, my charcoal positioned well. And I'll drop my rack back in just to, uh, to give it the heat cook off and cleaning. So I'm going to leave the, the top cap open uh, half an inch and the bottom open half an inch just to, uh, just to get her started. And, and I have all day to do this, so it's not a big deal if I uh, need to adjust a little bit to dial in that temperature or get the coals going a little bit more.
Ring na ina. We got the temp at 255 degrees and looks like the Primo is fairly well closed up and that's because it is very windy today. You can see this Japanese maple flexing. We've got these uh, it doesn't beautiful up too much. Want to provide beach chug, great short ribs, boneless, uh, friends, uh, my look family, and family. Here. So oh let's go ahead and get goodness. this on the grill. These are just going to be fantastic. Got them seasoned up with kosher salt and so, uh, coarse been sitting put ground black while. pepper. Clean the and this is about a three bit. and a quarter um, pounds. And I'm just going to set these and guys on here. Hopefully it doesn't shrink up too much. Indirect side. You can see I got the deflector plate in there. Charcoal is all on one side. And I'm probably gonna take out the additional uh, grill. Since we won't be needing the extra side. Um, if I was gonna go taller, uh, if I wanted to put on more meat, I actually have uh, an additional rack so I can get that elevated if I needed to get additional meat in there or if I wanted to kind of get it away from the heat a little bit. So let's go ahead and throw some wood chunks in here and let's get to smoking. Okay, I got a little bit of mesquite on there and then you can see the smoke starting to uh, gently come out the top and uh, time is 12 noon so let's uh, let's get these bad boys going for probably at least four hours if not more there, and there goes the smoke So I just put the uh, wood there on the edge, got my mesquite in there, just a few chunks left so I'm going to have to uh, restock my stash, but uh, just put it on the edge so it just starts to smolder as you can see with this, this chunk right here. Don't want the whole thing uh, really burning up. Let's see, uh, see how it billows out of here. I don't want to consume my um, mesquite wood. I wanted to just smoke and get that uh, chem for the meat. Right, that's a better smoke. And I've still got a very small crack. Readjusting my artificial turf on the top uh, cap. And if you haven't the, seen uh, that video, we'll uh, link it in the description uh, less below. Than a quarter inch. Uh, but we're going to put a 
big play structure over here so I've got a lot of work to do but I need to get this uh, really nice and level and we're going to kind of overlap into the gravel areas so that the slide lands uh, nicely in the middle of the turf. Here we are. Uh, we're one hour in so it's about one o'clock and let's just check on the progress of these bad boys. Okay. You can see some of the fat starting to render out. Um, I'm going to give these guys a little bit of space in between each other to let that smoke kind of get 360 degrees around each piece of meat. Uh, you can see that uh, the, the drips coming down um, and you can see the mesquite wood just smoking and smoldering in that uh, in the coals. Um, so I'm going to close this up so it doesn't get too hot and that smoke continues to permeate the meat with you guys at two. Okay, I love how the Primers just, uh, they just hold temperature like no other. You can see the smoke has died down a little bit. We're sitting at two hours, so let's take a look. And look at that intense color. You can see the, um, the juice is starting to flow up. Uh, I'm just gonna let them continue to go and I'm gonna reposition my charcoal a little bit. Um, actually reposition my, um, my wood. There's hatchet and I'm gonna get the whole chunks going here and let's get a little bit more smoke on these guys and Crusty. I know that's a good spot Fiskers. actually right there I know that's a good spot you can see the smoke generating now if you're looking you're not cooking Okay, we've gone a little bit longer than uh, three hours, but you can see temperature is about 260 and holding strong. And wow, look at these short ribs. Oh my goodness. The color is undescribable. It's that uh, deep red mahogany brown. Oh my gosh, looks amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these things wrapped and I'm gonna impart, uh, I'm gonna put in some fruit juice. Uh, typically I've used apple juice. Um, we're gonna try something a little bit different today. So, hi. Oil off the grill. And uh, let's get a close up here. So I'm going to use some fresh pineapple and wife just cut this up and got some fresh pineapple chunks and we're going to impart some juice in there and leave the chunks in there a little bit. Um, it's going to add a little bit of moisture and hopefully the acidity from the pineapple will just kind of permeate into this and give it another another dimension um, but this is a trial and um, you learn by uh, cooking things and trying it out this isn't the best juicer it's more for limes I can just gonna steam in there a little bit so I think that's good and I'm gonna use once again my kinder smiled I'm gonna base this on there and try and get these guys uh, to take on some of this barbecue flavor that I I really enjoy so I'm gonna paint Let me 
you get the other side too while I'm at it. Try and get 360 degree flavor. And you guys know about this, use uh, metal tongs and foil, don't really mix, so I run the risk of punch puncturing. But maybe I have a little bit of a trick for that. See if I can get my other deflector plate involved in the mix. Okay, it's about 5.20, so we've had about an hour and a half wrap time. And we're gonna let the last uh, 40 minutes go unwrapped. And we're gonna base these guys off. And as you can see, the steam is just billowing out of here. Hopefully it picked up a little bit, just a smidge of uh, some of that pineapple juice. Wow. Let's check these guys out. So. Fat rendered out. See the juices into uh, in the bottom of the foil. Some of that was the pineapple juice, and some of that is meat juice. So I'm gonna do a uh, final baste and let that base kind of cure onto the meat. You can see those beautiful, well marbled short ribs. One of the problems with opening the grill is you introduce a lot of oxygen and then that tends to uh, heat the grill up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is probably um, shut down the vents a little bit. Let's get the bottom basted by just, uh, oh, they are fall apart. Delicious. it up for 40 minutes and you can see I just got a hair in there not a hair less than a quarter inch I'm gonna shut this down quite a bit just uh, an eighth of an inch down here man hopefully it doesn't come up too hot if uh, so I'll shut it all the way down and Alright, so back up to, to get probably it up to probably should have got more moisture in the wrapped portion of the um, the smoke, but you can just see this is just fall apart delicious. Uh, I do like mine a little bit more saucy, so I'll be adding a lot of sauce. But this is uh, definitely just like a brisket. Oh my gosh, that kind of fat marbled through, rendered down, and it's uh, fall apart, delicious. Okay.